Jordan Maul Vigress, whose stage name is Jordan James, was considered selfless and wise beyond his years at a young age. One childhood classmate, Ashley, remembers Jordan giving her his own backpack and splitting his school supplies with her on the first day of fifth grade because she didn't have either. In 2015, Jordan founded a nonprofit organization named Blood is Blood, dedicated to encouraging the FDA to seek and implement blood donation policies that are non-discriminatory towards gay and bisexual men after he was turned away himself for being gay ultimately encouraging the FDA to change their once indefinite deferral to a 12-month deferral in 2015, currently a three-month deferral as of 2020. Jordan has held a yearly Blood is Blood Gay Alliance blood drive in Buffalo, New York since 2015, resulting in saving well over 680 lives. Jordan was featured on sites like Advocate.com and TheHumanist.com because Jordan went as far as to remain celibate for a whole year from 2017 to 2018 just so he could donate blood and raise awareness against the FDA's arbitrary policies. However, things for Jordan and his family took a horrible turn March 9th, 2019, as Jordan got a call from his mother Margie telling him, I'm having a heart attack, I'm scared. In which Jordan replied, I'm scared too, but you are the strongest person I know. Let the doctors help you. Margie was admitted to Buffalo General Hospital where she stayed heavily sedated on life support while medical professionals tried to get her on the path to recovery. During that time, Jordan spent every day by her bedside getting little rest when family forced him to. In the morning hours of March 17, 2019, Jordan drove up to Buffalo General Hospital in hopes of good news. However, that was not the case when Jordan arrived. He was greeted by a young medical professional in training who said, did the doctor come to you yet? Jordan said, no, I haven't heard anything. Jordan's heart sank as he just felt that hope was slipping away. The medical professional said, you might want to take a seat, Jordan. Your mother is showing signs of being brain dead. There are brainstem reflexes coded into our brain and your mother is not responding to any of them. Jordan paused for barely a moment and asked, can we donate her organs? Jordan knew because of his work with bloodisblood.org, the perfect candidate for organ donation was someone on life support. And he knew his mother who dedicated her life to serving others at places like the Salvation Army in North Tonawanda for several years, but most importantly, her four boys would want her to give the gift of life if she could. Margie passed March 18th, 2019 at approximately 1.30 p.m. Her family donated her eyes, corneas, and skin. Margie's donation helped two people see again and countless burn victims. Shortly before her passing, he and his mother spoke about creating a TV show to focus on the good people in this world because all you see on TV are bad people and stories. During quarantine, Jordan started a TikTok account to help other LGBTQIA people find a safe place to have fun and be themselves. In February 2021, Jordan James started a group called Safe Space by bloodisblood.org to connect with the LGBTQIA community with resources and information while creating a fun, inviting community. After much needed and continuous healing and a year-long quarantine on May 18th, 2021, Jordan James brings that same idea to TV. Now with WBBZ-TV and sponsorship by AmeriCorps Seniors, Retired and Senior Volunteer Program, Volunteer Center at Hansi, H-A-N-C-I, and other Buffalo community members and businesses.